In the book, FBI Secrets, an agent's expose by Ian Wesley Swearingen, the author reveals that the FBI is working against your freedom, not for it. A former member of the US Navy and an FBI special agent, he admits that it was typical of FBI agents to cheat on exams to get hired. After becoming an agent, Swearingen learned the FBI violates extortion and kidnapping laws. He was trained to commit burglary and break into homes of citizens. That means the FBI can commit break-ins against people like you, including US citizens. FBI break-ins against US citizens were even legalized by Hoover. Sanctioned murder and perjury are FBI standards. It could even be your murder that gets sanctioned. And reports where Swearingen, the author of FBI Secrets, the FBI is very bigoted. Swearingen found out the FBI will even have citizens put in jail for being African American or Native American. FBI agents plot assassinations of American citizens. Yes, American citizens. And they often target citizens labeled undesirables, such as African Americans and American Indians. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Africans and Native Americans were murdered. It was genocide. This is Rome. Rome conquers, massacres, and enslaves. Rome is still here. The scriptures say, the messengers of Yahweh, Allah, the Most High sent down on the wrongdoers a plague from heaven, because of their wicked behavior, a bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards, and are more fierce than the evening wolves. They shall fly as the eagle that hasteth to eat. This is April Shaltai's, using the computer to generate this message. Why am I generating this message? There is a hidden euthanasia, a silent genocide, just to amuse or please immoral people. This is April Shaltai's, and they tried to put me down. I'm a virgin. It's not really on purpose. I'm just not married. So they tried to put me down. You could be put down, too. And you may never even see it coming. This is April Shaltai's. Native America is a covenant land, given by the Lord to his covenant people for a perpetual possession. The forgotten genocide of Native Americans on the American continent was not forgotten by God, was not forgotten by God. This is April Shaltai's, and I hate Rome. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Cast Rome out. Homeland Security. Whose homeland are they securing? America is the homeland of Native Americans, and the US subjected Native Americans to genocide in order to steal their lands. Homeland Security isn't securing this land for the tribes of Native America, that's for sure. This is April Shaltai's. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered, on their native lands. It was genocide. This is Rome. Rome conquers, massacres, and enslaves. Rome is still here. This is April Shaltai's. In the book, The Seventh Sense, The Secrets of Remote Viewing is told by a psychic spy for the US military, 
By Lynn Buchanan, the author admits that the CIA was using controlled remote viewing, acronym CRV, on targets. CRV makes it possible for them to see and know what targets are doing from a distance, and even control a target's thoughts and actions. When caught, the CIA claimed it declassified and discontinued the program, but it really just changed the name from Centerlane to Sunstreak and continued operations in secret. The military is using the science of the mind against you. You are not free in America. This is Rome. You are not safe.